Today I'm gonna be talking about the dumbest things about DLC 5 Zombies Chronicles. Now I wanna make this very clear though. I'm enjoying DLC 5, it is a masterpiece that has some flaws of course, and that is what we're gonna be discussing about in this video. And I'm really grateful to say that Treyarch have given this to us. I, I wanted this so badly and it's finally here and it's been over a week that we have got this. I, I guess time flies, but I cannot neglect the fact that there are some dumbest things about Zombies Chronicles. Not sure if it was done on purpose or it was just that track was like eh might not do it and I want to talk about it in this video and I definitely would love to hear your thoughts uh, down in the comments below after you're done watching let's see if you have something to add and let's see if you agree with the points or hey if you disagree that's fine too you can just go ahead and say F this F that and I am perfectly fine but hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it if you're new to the channel hey definitely do consider subscribing and hit that bell, join the notification squad, we do daily videos and live streams and the bell notification will keep you updated. And let's kick this off and I want to start off by saying this that uh uh, the definition of the word dumbest may be a little different for you and I want to clear this up and uh, the thing is it's not gonna be about us having gobble gums in these remaster maps I personally love it but if you are someone that did not wanted it hey simply don't buy any or don't just like uh, go in the game and hold square or X on those gobble gum machine problem solved it's also not gonna be about the three hit system it's just perfect that it's three hit system or it's a three hit system this time around like think about the noobs man don't think about yourself like I know you're pro out there but think about the new players man like they go through a lot of shit so the three hit system it is just perfect but let me remind you that zombies in black ops 3 double hit you very fast so it may seem easier but it's not a whole lot of course the three hit system is better and easier than the two hit system but it's certainly not the easiest also want to throw the origins in depth remaster mud out of the window I totally want to throw that out of the window. All I want to say about that is I endured so much. I'm sure you have too and it is what it is uh, with the three hit system. We had to pay the price so that's that but the fact that M1911 is not in zombies is probably the dumbest thing ever and it grind my gears or let me let me rephrase this. The fact that M1911 is in multiplayer and is not in zombies chronicles is the dumbest thing ever. Now won't be mentioning this if the M1911 wasn't present in multiplayer. The point I'm trying to make here is that if Treyarch have put something in the game and it is M1911, they know we want it in zombies and what's the best time to have that in zombies? It's now with remaster maps. Let's say, can you imagine Kino Der Toten, alright? Let's say Kino Der Toten, for, for example, having to play Kino Der Toten remaster for the first time and the first thing you see is that boy M1911 in your hands. That would be bananas AF. And of course I want to try to understand why this would have happened. Now it's perfectly awesome that the zombies community got 8 remaster zombies maps and uh, the multiplayer community got new guns, weapons, skins, everything like that. Uh, they can try and keep it exclusive to multiplayer like all those sort of things. That's fine. But you know it's dumb when one of the most wanted starting pistol by the zombies community gets thrown in multiplayer and not in zombies. And let me try to make sure uh, that you understand what happened. What they did was that they threw M1911 in supply drops in multiplayer. Do you see? Do you see that? I know you see that. And I really feel like this was Activision maneuver. Like, M1911 is wanted by the zombies community. It's an OG of a starting room pistol in uh, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. And we know we need to give something to the multiplayer community. Let's throw, like, some of the classic guns and weapons. And of course, we have also, go uh, we have also seen the AK-74U. So, if I'm talking about the M1911, make sure you get this that I'm also talking about the AK-74U but of course uh, of course let me just say this uh, M1911 and AK-74U is thrown both of them are thrown in supply drops in multiplayer and Activision was just like hey let's throw something that is wanted by the zombies community and that is a that is just like classic uh, we want to give that to multiplayer community so they can actually spend money to get them and you know what the zombies community love it so what they will do they will go ahead and play some multiplayer grind some keys 
no, no, they won't grind keys because that is lame. Who does that in 2017? It's gonna take them a whole lot of games to play to get some uh, keys. I'm not even sure how many keys you get, uh, to be perfectly honest with you guys, how many keys you get by just finishing up one match. Probably, if I have to take a guess, I would say three to five. So that's that. And a lot of the Zombies players and the multiplayer community will go ahead, buy supply drops, and hey, if they get lucky, they get it. And if they are not lucky, hey, uh, they will spend money again and that's just like easy money for us and as a company I totally understand that you want to make money but this is just the dumbest thing about Zombies Chronicles the fact that M1911 gets thrown in supply drops for multiplayer it is just so dumb and of course M1911 and AK74U goes together and did I mention the MP40 is in Origins Remaster and I gotta say yes they brought it back but where is MP40 in King of the Totem? Like, I know. Okay, I'm gonna put my reaction here. Uh, is the MP40 in the wall? Oh, bro, Alan, don't get me started on that B. Yo, okay. Let's cut to the chase. Let's... I, I ain't gonna give any F. Oh, guys, quick trivia. I have not watched early gameplay. Uh, but... One, if you think we're gonna have the MP40. Or two, if you think we're gonna have the HD40. Not gonna see right now, but hey. I want you guys to witness this in all its glory. Hold on. Let's go there. No! <laughs> No, you are effing a uh, good bro. Uh, yeah, uh, this was my very first live stream of Kino Der Toten. I went in without watching the early Kino Der Toten remaster gameplay. I was just like dying to see MP40 being on the wall. I, I was just like, yes, it is an origin, so it's definitely going to be here. I was just like so happy and excited, and just like, I was just like, hey, I'm not gonna purchase any guns. The only thing I'm gonna purchase is going to be my boy MP40 off of the wall in Kino Der Toten Remaster and boy oh boy it was not present and that's one of the dumbest thing ever and uh, it's also not in any of the World at War Zombies map that we got remastered but it is in Origins and um, I just wanna say these are the dumbest things about Zombies Chronicles sure there are more but these are the pure dumbest thing ever and I wanna hear from you guys what you think let me know in the comment section down below but if you guys have found this video informative in some way shape or form hit that like button subscribe uh hit that bell join the notification squad and i'll see you guys very freaking soon